Hi, my name is Radek Haydin and I am professor on the civil engineering faculty at the University of Belgrade. Thank you for watching this video. In my function as a management committee member, I was asked to present a Serbian stand on the cost action TU 1406. In my view, this cost action addresses some of the pressing problems we face today with transportation infrastructure in general and bridges in particular. In the past, structural engineers designed bridges for the action defined in the codes of practice. In the course of time, the actions of these structures change significantly and the deterioration process affect their ability to cope with these actions. Additionally, there are hazard situations that are not addressed in the codes used to design bridges. It is therefore pivotal to find new and practical ways to evaluate performance of existing structures under these new circumstances. It is also necessary to forecast the performance in the future, taking into the consideration the traffic growth, climate change, deterioration, etc. Desired performance of bridges for its user is evident and consists of safe and comfortable crossing from one abutment to the other. This can be understood as a top-level performance goals. However, both performance goals, safe and comfortable crossing, can be ensured if the low-level performance indicators such as concrete strength, steel stiffness, traffic load volume and composition allow engineers to reliably derive top-level performance indicators, which means safety or serviceability indices that meet performance goals. In addition, forecast of low-level performance indicators will allow us to estimate the time frame in which it is likely that the performance goals are not met. The economic benefit of this performance evaluation is evident. The bridges can be used longer and the essential maintenance actions can be triggered when really needed. It is said that the engineer is a person that can build something for one euro that anybody else can build for two euros. To paraphrase this saying, this action will hopefully allow us to save a euro where everybody else would spend two euros. This is not only my motivation to participate in this action, but also the main impact of this action. The intention of the action to gather performance goals throughout the Europe and cast them in a rational framework is very ambitious and if successful would facilitate comparing performance level in European countries. Uniform performance goals, even if they vary in their values, would finally allow optimum road choices. The problem of aging infrastructure, higher traffic volume and loading and neglected maintenance is very acute in Serbia. The budget available for maintenance amount to as low as 0-2% of the replacement costs. It is not likely that the maintenance budget will rise in the future, so the utilization of the existing infrastructure for as long as possible is essential. The tools to obtain relevant information on bridge condition in order to extend the service life of the bridges will be hopefully provided in this section. I was also asked to name and describe my favorite bridge structure. There are quite a few of signature bridge structure in Serbia, like Ada Bridge in Belgrade, Sloboda Bridge in Novi Sad, or Beška Bridge over Danube. However, my favorite bridge is the rather small stone arch bridge over Ljubovija that was probably built in 16th century 
and still serves its purpose. Thank you.